Hello and welcome, I'm your host Sam with Gen Z Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing and demonstrating the BT Meter Digital Anemometer. Can't tell you how many times I've had to try to get to say that right. So, let me show the outside of the box. Front. Sides. Both sides are the same, there's really nothing different. On the top it shows Total focus. It shows uh, what model you actually have. I have the BT100. You can see that's the one that's checked over there. And then the back. Now you'll see that there's a QR code down here and you can see that this says BT100 app. Um, off camera before I started this, I did download the app and I messed around with it a little bit, but no matter what I did, I just could not get it to work. There was no way of knowing whether or not the device was connected to my phone and it just it just wasn't working, to make a long story short. Um, so essentially, in my humble opinion, the app is completely useless. If, if you happen to have this and you download the app and you get it to work, great. I, I applaud you. You got it to work. I'm surprised because a lot of people have left reviews saying that it does not work. Um, I just could not get it to work. So onwards and offwards, we're going to get into the box and take a look at the device itself. First thing you're going to pull out is the device itself. It does come with a little pouch and your user's manual. Nothing else in the box, so we're going to put that off to the side. inside the little pouch. On the left here they provide you with a little 180 day warranty and on the back they provide an email for you to get in touch with them. If ever you have any kind of an issue they'll be able to help you as best as they can. Here we have the meter itself. I did already cut the plastic for convenience sake and they also provide a little optional uh, wrist strap. You can see there, if it focuses, that it is threaded. Um, so you can put this on. And then they also provide a little itty bitty screwdriver. And the reason they provide a screwdriver is because they do provide batteries. They are not rechargeable batteries, but they are batteries nonetheless. And I've already inserted those, again, for convenience sake. Get that out of the way too. And then also on the back here, there's a little uh, inlet of some kind. I'm not entirely sure what it's for because there is nothing in the paperwork. And I have done my research and I haven't really found what exactly it's for. So if you know, please feel free to educate me and everybody else in the comments below. But please be cordial. Um, I'm just going to close that. And then back to the front. We'll go through. This is your power button clearly. You have a backlight, your unit button, which goes through meters per second, uh, kilometers per hour, uh, feet per minute, miles per hour, or knots rather, and then miles per hour, it does go to miles per hour, and then it just cycles. You have maximum, minimum, and then off. What maximum does is when you're measuring uh, wind speeds of any kind, if you set it to maximum, it'll go to the maximum speed and it'll hold it there and it'll stay as long as the device stays on until you turn it off or it turns off automatically. Minimum is kind of useless because it doesn't pick up anything at minimum, it just stays at zero. You have Fahrenheit and Celsius, so you can switch between those two. And then you have average. Again, you can see there between the two sets of numbers there's a little average AVG symbol. Um, I'm, I don't know what the average does. Again, I have done research, I have looked it up, and I'm not... It doesn't really do much, not that I'm not sure of what it does, it just doesn't do anything. Um, I've tested it off camera. Um, it's supposed to take uh, the average speed over 15 seconds, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't hold a speed or anything like that, so just be wary of that. And I'm going to move these off to the side as well. And for your instruction manual, there's the front. And then the first page, you have all the function of all the buttons. 
it does kind of explain, but not entirely. Then you have operation, more operation instructions here, and then these are your specifications. Um, so the accuracy for all the different types of units they have are accurate within 5%. And your temperature range, uh, depending on Celsius or Fahrenheit, Celsius is accurate within 2 degrees and Fahrenheit is accurate within 3.6 degrees. They also have a little contact us section where if you have any issues, again, they provide you with an email and all the information you'll need to provide um, if you ever need to get in contact with them for any reason. Um, after that, it's just the same stuff, but in a different language. So it's not the most helpful useful ma user's manual, um, but it does provide some helpful information. Now from here, I'm going to set this back to max. I'm going to get a monopod, put this on a monopod, that way it's easier for me to hold while I'm testing it with my AT-NG duster, which I did use this in the previous video. You'll see it up in the right hand corner here for you, left for me. Um, I'm going to put this on. So it's a little too high. But let's get this on and then we'll adjust it in in just a moment. Now this, uh, this backlight doesn't stay on very long, it only stays on for 15 seconds at a clip, so I will have to keep turning it back on in order for you to see what I'm seeing. So I'm going to start off on the lowest speed. Let me get this straight first of all, it's like crock-eyed. Um, I'm going to start off on the lowest speed and then I'm going to slowly crank it up so we can see the difference it makes. I'm going to put this to low first, excuse me. Okay, so this is going to be loud, so prepare your ears. Granted, this is only an air duster. This is just to show that this does work. Um, however, this is rated for uh, up from, from 1 up to 60 miles per hour. Um, but you can see here that the reading it's showing for the highest setting on the air duster is just shy of 11 and a half uh, meters per second. I believe it was. Yes, meters per second. So it, it's not about this. Well, I already did a video on this. Like I said, it'll be up in the right-hand corner. Um, but this works fairly well. It's the veins, which are the little, what look like fan blades in there. Um, they, they're definitely very delicate because just moving this, you can see that they move very easily. And just a, just a light little blow just sends them spinning like crazy. So you're probably wondering... Why would I need this? Who, who needs something like this? Well, anybody who works in uh, HVAC installation, uh, meteorologists, um, weather buffs, uh, drone flyers, anybody like that uh, could really benefit from something like this. Now, sure, there are multiple other kinds you can get, um, but if you're just flying drones, you don't want to spend, you know, $300 or more on something like this. This was $30 and it works pretty darn well if I do say so myself. Um, also, if you're into building computers and you want to measure the fan speed, make sure your fans are working properly. This is also something you could really benefit from. So there's actually a, a pretty wide variety of people who would want or would need something like this. With all that said and done, uh, my final verdict on this is it works very well. For what it is, um, it's definitely not the most expensive. 
um, but it works very well. It does the charm, it gives you the reading you want or need. Um, I do wish that the app worked. Um, I'm sure it would be uh, a great way to record, like I said, if you're um, a meteorologist or a weather buff and you like to keep track of, you know, wind speeds and stuff like that, um, that would be a great way to to track all the speeds you want to record. Otherwise, you have to, you know, record it manually, write it down on a book or on your phone or something in a notepad. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's a little unfortunate. Um, if they do decide to update the app again, although it has been three years, I believe, since it was last updated, so I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, but if they do decide to update and fix it, that'd be great. Um, I would try to make an updated video at that point, um, but I don't see that happening. But all in all, it's a good product. The product itself works great. And it's just a, a great thing to have, I think, no matter what the purpose, you know, no matter what you need it for. It's just a good thing to have. And now for the disclaimer. I am not being paid to review this at all. I bought this with my own money and I'm re reviewing this uh, of my own will. There is nobody standing over my shoulder telling me what, when, or how to say anything. Um, these are my own thoughts and words. Uh, if ever a video in the future is sponsored, I will make that clearly known, clearly stated. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful or useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up and please be sure to share and subscribe so you can get notified of when I do post another video. I hope to see you in the next one and until then, bye bye